All right, the Marvel Legends cable figure from the Deadpool 2 movie. This is actually a really cool looking figure. It is a Walmart exclusive. I see people buying these up and whatnot. And, uh, you know, they're they're on the shelf all over the place around here. It's not a, uh, they're, they're really not that hard to find, at least in this area. And I do understand that in some places they they seem to be pretty hard to find. But... I was fortunate enough to be able to pick one of these guys up at the uh, at my local Walmart. This is a few minutes from my house. So let's open him up, check him out, and uh, it looks like he has some pretty interesting accessories here. I want to see what this is all about. Uh, of course, he comes with the extra hands, the interchangeable hands and whatnot. He's got the little teddy bear over here on his side. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll look at all the articulation and everything. And uh, this... This looks like it's going to be a pretty cool figure. I'm going to move this off camera and hope not to damage anything. Open the box up here. Awesome. And just ended up with a slight crease on the tab. Nothing showing. Great. A little bit different packaging here for this one. Uh, I'm slide the tray right out. And it has a, uh, a thick cardboard backer with the, uh, the X-Men X behind it. Let's see what all the box has on it. I didn't really look at the... It's mostly just artwork. I didn't really look to see if the box had any text or anything when I got it. I've had this for about a week and haven't had a chance to do anything with it until today. So... All right. No, uh, no inserts or anything with him. That's uh, a little different... At least none that I saw. All right, I will pop everything out, get it laid out here on the table, and we can go through it then. Nobody wants to hear the plastic crinkling. So as far as accessories go, if you remember from the movie, Cable carried this very heavily modified Chris Vector. And I mean, this gun is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you know, typically this would just be a, a, a 45 caliber submachine gun, which it has a Glock magazine in it. Uh, it's, I think in the movie he modified this into like a pulse rifle or something. Hence the, uh, the huge break on the front. But you have this rail here on the bottom where you can attach this launcher. Or... This launcher, uh, and I don't, I think this is like a 37 millimeter launcher, but uh, anyway, I think it's pretty cool that they, basically they made a modular, uh, a modular weapon system for the figure. Very neat. And he also comes with a handgun, which he has a holster. Let's see if we can get this. To, there we go. He has a holster the handgun will go into right here on his side. Uh, we're actually going to strip off all the web gear and check all that stuff out as well. So yeah, his pistol goes right there. And here's the, uh, the teddy bear. It's actually, it appears to be made into the web gear. It's a, it's a molded piece there. He has the cloak, which should just come right off. Yeah, there we go. That's a, a big, thick, heavy piece of... Uh, soft rubberized plastic there really dig the detail on the arm but i just saw something here they could have done a little paint app inside here like they did on the outside of the arm for the uh for the metallic pieces you know it has the uh the dark gray but they they really could have uh they could have painted that too this figure seems to be very well made. He's very solid. The joints are actually really nice and tight on this guy. And there's no, um, this particular figure didn't have any deformation from the vacuum formed tray that they come in. Uh, looking over the, uh, the web gear here, the vest does not appear to have any kind of a, uh, buttoning system or anything. So that's not just going to come right off. This would actually, you would have to pop the arms out, I believe. I was not able to find anything where it unfastens, but I believe that you would have to pop the arms off and then pull it straight up over the torso. Uh, the arms are very tight. Uh, there's not a lot of movement here in these joints. It appears to be obstructed by the shoulder cap. 
Um, that's definitely a drawback to this uh, particular figure. You have the bicep rotator and you also have the articulation in the wrist, which I do like. And you have the, you know, of course the, uh, the double jointed elbow there. These hands also come with uh, articulation in the wrist, the, the closed fists, and you have the metallic, let's see if we can get that there. You have the metallic paint on the fingers, being the right hand, you have the flesh tone paint on the, on the closed fist fingers there. So, and uh, as far as legs go, you have the hip rotator, uh, plenty of movement in the, uh, in the hip joint. And you also have the calf rotator with the double jointed knee. And you have the uh, typical uh, articulation in the ankle and foot. And everything seems to work really well. It's nice and tight. Good positive lockup on the ratcheting system there. Uh, I do like that quite a bit. The, uh, the limited articulation in the shoulders, that's somewhat bothersome. This guy is going to be displayed in the package anyway, so it's not like it really matters that much to me. But to a lot of people... That could be a, uh, a drawback to this figure. All around, this is a really nice figure. This is one of the nicer Legends figures that I've gotten. Get a little bit of a pose going here. He is able to hold the rifle with both of his hands. I'll turn him here a little bit so you can see. That's, uh, that's pretty much about as far as it goes. The, the wrist articulation actually helps out a whole lot with that. You can see how the hand here is canted upward. Uh, one thing that I would like to point out is that this figure has some slightly, let's go ahead and get that out of his hand. And he does hold the rifle well, by the way. Um, a couple of things. I think that one thing that would have helped out with this figure's shoulder articulation would have been a butterfly joint in the torso. Uh, the head articulation is a little bit different than what I have seen is typical with most Legends figures. You have, uh, it's like a, it's like a dog bone or a barbell, uh, ball joint. It's really weird. You got to pop the head off. You see this, this actually will come out of the head. I'm not going to force it out of there because it'll probably be a pain to get back in, but you have this joint here that's up inside the head and then you have this ball joint, which is down inside the neck. And this is actually, this end of it's not smooth. Let's see if we can show that. That end of it's not smooth, which allows for a little bit of, uh, uh, probably a little bit of ratcheting action. Not really ratcheting, but just helps it to stay in place. And the neck, uh, like with the G.I. Joe Classified Series figures, the neck is actually articulated as well. And it is not in this figure. It looks like it would be, but it is not. So I'm going to pop this head back in. We'll take a final look at him here all geared up and whatnot. We'll switch out the hands and uh, then I'm going to get him back, back in the box. All right. Hopefully I don't break anything whenever I try to do this. Uh, ah, there we go. Pop that hand right out of there. And let's see if we can get one of the closed fists in. Hey, pop right in. Awesome. Looks good. Not something I would probably use uh, in displaying this figure, but it is an option for those of you who do wish to display that way. The hand popped out. And I'm sure that the other one will do the same. I'm not gonna switch it out. I don't have a reason to. Overall, this is a great looking figure. There's a, a lot of detail in it. Like I said earlier, they could have painted that and added a little bit more detail to it, but eh, you know. But, uh, yeah, all around really cool. Even the uh, back of the neck has the uh, metallic paint apps. All right, I'm going to get it boxed up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more videos and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I put out new videos. I've got more stuff coming to you. As you can see, there's Transformers here in the background. There's G.I. Joe stuff, He-Man, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do all that. I'm actually uh, probably going to open up a couple of He-Man figures next. Thanks for watching, guys.